Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Build It With Lafarge series. My name is Renal Amit and I am the Customer Experience Manager here at Lafarge Zambia. Lafarge Zambia is a leading provider of building materials and construction solutions in Zambia, offering a wide range of products and services to its customers in Zambia and across its borders. We have been in this business for 71 years now, and in those years, we have contributed to the development of Zambia's infrastructure. And we will continue on our mission to build better cities that are durable and beautiful. Join us today as we focus on our flagship product in Pambu, which is a multi-purpose cement brand that can be used for all your construction needs. So catch us on the other side. From our last show, we received positive feedback from all of you that tuned in. Thank you once again. And to assist in answering some of the questions that came through our Facebook page, we have our specialized architect, Mwenya Nzakilwa, and our civil engineer, Chifunda Sikazwe. Thank you, Mwenya and Chifunda, for joining us today. Thank you for having me on the show, Renal. Thank you, Renal. Let's get started on some of these questions, shall we? So, Mwenya, how would you describe Impampo Cement to viewers coming across this product for the very first time. Mpamvu is a normal setting cement that has been on the Zambian market since 2003. It is a cement that is suitable for general purpose applications from domestic concrete to large building projects. As the name suggests, Mpamvu means strength in the local language. Yeah, because it is a cement that gives you a very good high long-term strength. What do you think then makes this product very superior? Because, you know, 17 years is a very long time. Mpamvu is a tried and tested product. Some of the other benefits you get from choosing Mpamvu is that you can use it for both concrete and mortar. It has a very good workability and it's also cost effective. So, you know, as all builders agree, laying the foundation is the most important part of every project. So Chifunda, do you think concrete slab can be laid room by room over a number of days? And if yes, how long does it usually take to cure? Thanks for that question, Ronel. So it's always advisable for someone building to cast concrete once and complete it rather than room by room. This is because uh, casting room by room has the potential to compromise the integrity of the structure. I've taken time to uh, drive around in Lusaka and uh, look at the few projects that are being done by individual home builders. And I always notice that uh, they take the approach of casting the concrete slab room by room. In time, they will notice cracks to starting to develop as the structure goes up. And repairs are very costly. So it's always important to cast the slab once and complete it. I agree with you, Chifunda. I see the importance now of why the slab needs to, to be done first. Yeah. That's a very good point. You, you, you spoke of curing. Curing is basically managing the concrete by ensuring that the moisture, the temperature, and the time, may, preferably three to 14 days of curing, so that it meets the required standard and strength you desire. Now, just referring to the questions from our Facebook page, there's one that's come in from Infill Zambia, and the question reads, we are looking to build an office. How can Impambo be utilized in contrast to Superset? I like the fact that Monia highlighted that uh, Impambo is a general purpose cement, ranging from domestic to large building projects, including road stabilization for the road projects. And he also touched on the fact that Mpamvu can be used for concrete works as well as mortar. So that office block can, will have the luxury of using the Mpamvu for both the concrete works as well as the mortar. Normally, mortar on site is uh, referred to in local language as Indaka. Yes. So the team on the site will understand what that is. Interesting. And uh, I really like that you can use this product for so many applications. 
And the most interesting one that really stood out from your answer is the road stabilization. Is there any particular projects that are being done with, uh, within Pambu? Yes, so we're currently working on the T, T2 road, which is uh, running from Nakonde all the way up to Chinsali. Okay. So the road stabilization is using the Pambu cement. So maybe you can assist in answering the next question, Wenya. The question reads, what are the correct ratios for impampo cement and sand when plastering? Cement plaster is a mixture of uh, building sand, cement and water. What, uh, the interesting thing is what most people don't know is that you can actually get the recommended mixing ratios on the cement bag. If we look at the, at the impampo cement bag right now, you will see it is indicated that the mixing ratios for plaster is one to eight. However, I would like to point out something very important because I've noticed that most of our bricklayers misunderstand and misinterpret these mixing ratios. True. Because if it says, for example, for, for plaster, the recommended ratio is one to eight, you will find most bricklayers mixing one bag of cement to eight wheelbarrows of sand, but that's incorrect. What you need to do is fill up one wheelbarrow of, of one wheelbarrow with cement to eight wheelbarrows filled with sand. The difference being a wheelbarrow can be filled up with two cement bags, meaning in essence you will be mixing two cement bags with eight wheelbarrows filled with sand. Yes. It's good that you brought up that point about a lot of people not realizing that you get the mixed proportions on the back of the bag because I do tend to find a lot of those questions do come up on Facebook where they do ask for recommendations on the mixed proportions. Yeah. So thank you for that. That's very clear. Correct. So I would, I would really like to urge our viewers out there yeah. to take time to just uh, you know study and appreciate uh, the recommended ratios on the cement bags. Thank you. And we had another question from Susan Nambayen Lavwe. Her question is regarding the usage of impampo cement and it reads, what is the best cement to use when putting a floor slab? Chifunda, are you able to assist with this question? Of course I can. Um, and it's a very nice question uh, you've raised, uh, Ronel. So floor slabs normally require concrete strength ranging from C20 to C30. And in, in this instance, our Mpamvu cement meets the requirement. And if uh, the lady, sorry, just repeat her name. Susan. If Susan, if Susan wanted to go as far as erecting an upstairs building, even the Mpamvu can work for decking. So as long as the minimum concrete requirement is a C20, the Mpamvu works best. So for those that are not technical, would you explain in the simplest term what you re what you refer to when you say C20 and C30? So C20 and C30 basically refer to the grade of the concrete. Okay. That is that is the minimum uh, strength that the concrete should meet after 28 days. So in the case of C20, we are referring to a 20 MPA concrete after 28 days of cast, from the day it was cast. Yeah. And if you talk about C30, we are referring to reaching a strength of 30 MPA from the day the concrete was cast. Okay. And Renel, maybe just to add on, uh, uh, on what Chifunda has said, mm -hmm. you can basically use Impamvo on a multi-story building from the foundation all the way to the finishing, and that is your plaster. Thank you for that, Munya, because I think a lot of people don't realize and appreciate that what this one product can do. It really is a general purpose, and I think that we just need to express more to our viewers and yes. to all yeah. the home builders out there that Impambo Cement can do these, this work. What's, what's important is just uh, having the understanding of what the product can do. Yeah, exactly. I think after this show, pe many people understand that the Pamvo is a multi-purpose brand. Okay, Mwini um, and Chifunda, that brings us to the end of our questions. But what I would, li I would like to touch on one thing, and I think we haven't really covered that yet. Um, you know, Mwenya, you mentioned Impambo being in existence since 2003. Practically that's 17 years, like you say. Which buildings have been built with Impambo? that are still standing today? Because I'm sure they, there is a true testament behind this product. Maybe you could just 
highlight some of these these buildings? Wow, well, Ranel, that's uh, <laughs> there are so many of them. Hey, eh? uh, in Lusaka we can talk of uh, the shopping malls like Manda Hill. Uh, there are several office blocks, uh, you know, dotted around the country. Uh, Chifunda, uh, maybe from the cuff of your. Uh, uh, one, one, one comes to mind, which yeah. is uh, normally a tourist uh, city in Livingstone. Uh, it's a building in yeah. the tourist capital, which is the, the Zambezi. It's now called. Uh, is it the Havani? The Havani, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's called the Havani. So that 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 uh, hotel was built with our palm cement. Yeah. I I know. I think um, most recently there was um, a meeting plant in Lilai uh, that that was built, you know, from from the foundations to completions uh, within Pambu alone. Yeah, and that's a big industrial building. Yes, it really, and, really and, is. And not just the buildings. Uh, if we look at the road sector, almost at least eighty percent of the roads in mm. Zambia were built with the Pambu cement because you do need the, the Mpamvu for the road stabilization. Yes. So, the Mpamvu has been around for many years. But I mean, one of the first things you mentioned, Munya, was um, the malls. I remember when the, the first time we had a mall being built and we were, we were so excited to be able to go to the cinema for the very first time. <laughs> and now we have malls all over us and it really is so amazing just to see our products has been part of all of this. Yeah, it, it, it's it really been part is. of the adventure, yeah. the, exactly. the development in the country. Yeah. yeah. Thank you to everybody that tuned in to our Build It With Lafarge series. I'd like to say a big thank you to our two discussants, Mwenya Intakilwa and Chifunda Sukazwe, for being able to join us today. Thank you so much, Ranel, and thank you so much, viewers. Thank you, Ranel. Thank you, viewers. Thank, thank you. you. To our viewers that are listening, please do remember to leave us a comment in our comment section below and one of our team of experts will get to answer them in the next session. Before I go, I have some exciting news for you. If you're in Indola, Lusaka or Kitwe, you can now purchase your cement via the Afri Delivery app. All you need to do is buy 10 bags of cement or more and we will deliver it right to your doorstep. Thanks once again for joining us today. To get more information about our upcoming promotions, please stay glued to our Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter pages. Have a great day, until next time.